Hey folks, it's Spitz with Pixels and Pills at Digital Pharma East in Philly 2012. I've got Robert Lucente, Vice President over at the Hobart Group. And we were talking a little bit earlier about the relationship between pharma, patients, and the payer community. So that whole managed care angle is fairly interesting and in how it ties into digital and digital communication. Can you share some of your thoughts about that for the Pixels audience? Absolutely, Michael. Thank you so much. And uh, as uh, you said, I'm Vice President of Digital Strategy with the Hobart Group. Uh, we are a managed markets uh, marketing agency in New Jersey, New York, and Chicago. Um, and this has been a great conference and really understanding how we can leverage digital in the space with helping our pharmaceutical clients and their account teams uh, get access and demand uh, with the payer audience. Uh, so what we're really starting to see is the rollout of iPads, uh, um, and as a marketing agency with our focus on content, you know, this is really the critical next step is understanding how to leverage this content uh, and the use of these iPads and really kind of uh, optimizing that engagement with the account managers and the payers. Yeah, it's a fascinating relationship. And obviously, there's a lot of firewalls that exist between the different segments. Obviously, the interest of the pharmaceutical community is to provide treatment options that improve quality of life, extend life for patients. On the payer side of the house, obviously, the goal is to cut claims, which translates into healthier patients also. So in terms of reaching out to these different touch points, how do you kind of integrate these otherwise siloed clients in terms of providing messaging that really gets the results that they're looking for? Yeah, it's a, it's, we're always looking at kind of that audience relationship and the needs of the payer community and the pharma and then how that really translates to patients. Um, and then as you had mentioned, quality is kind of a key driver. You know, from a digital perspective, we're looking at kind of tools which really help um, the payers really kind of understand the quality measures related to specific products. Um, and we really help that's going to help drive the relationship and the decision making process. And in terms of your segments, um, who do you address? Is it physicians, patients, what other uh, audience types within health? Really focused on the managed market landscape, so it's really the payers. So we, we look at the hospitals, the, the health insurance, um, you know, that, that spectrum. Uh, and then we work specifically at the pharma level dealing with their managed markets account teams and marketing teams. I got gotcha. you. It's a different mindset than the uh, direct-to-patient and the direct-to-healthcare professionals. It's kind of a whole different paradigm. And then how do you assist them in terms of administrative resources, practice management tools, uh, patient compliance education? What kind of content and resources are you providing through your channel? Yeah, we create a, a wide range of tools, uh, implementation guides, uh, pricing strategy guides, uh, and we have a, um, a proprietary database of payers. So we offer uh, ad boards and we set up insights uh, directly with the, the pharma companies to really allow them to access that uh, direct insight from the payer community. And we're at day three of Digital Pharma, and it's really focused on mobile. And you mentioned tablets, you know, the iPad and all that. How has that changed your business model, both in terms of functionality and content? And how, how are those managed care audiences in terms of embracing these emerging tech and gadgets. Well, that's what my life's all about these days. So uh, our company has traditionally been a, a print-focused shop. Uh, so we create uh, marketing collateral in the print medium. However, digital has become uh, you know top of mind for everyone over the past year. So we start to look at all this great content and strategy and tactics that we bring to the table and now we can say you know we have the content so it's just a matter of understanding how to optimize for the different devices the, our, um, our clients are still you know on the the line of trying to really understand how, how they are supposed to use iPads and what it's how it's going to change that customer call um, so we're working with them to really kind of design experiences that include and get their feedback and do usability testing with them and kind of um, look to the right types of resources of opposed to dumping everything in, you know, really what's going to make sense, what's going to be that immersive experience as opposed to just, you know, um, it's really taking advantage of what the iPad offers and the content that we deliver to create that collaborative immersive experience and that's going to help drive efficiencies and, and innovations. Terrific. I love saying it. it's Mr. Lucente with the Hobart Group taking a look at emerging tech, optimizing the user experience, and basically reaching out to payers, managed care, hospital providers in a new and innovative way. It's Spitz with Pixels and Pills, the Digital Pharma East in Philly 2012, signing up. <laughs>